Okay, I am Lisa Hooper. I am on the board of directors for New Orleans Chamber Orchestra, and we are here talking with composer Ryan Harrison. We are looking forward to pulling together and performing one of his new works entitled Les Sinelles. And we're here to talk with Ryan a little bit about his piece. When the New Orleans Chamber Orchestra initially approached me with uh, you know, this opportunity to write a piece based off of some poems, uh, you know, selected poems from Les Sinelles, um, I had never heard of the anthology before. And just after doing a little bit of research, um, you know, discovering that all of the po poems uh, were uh, created by uh, you know, free men of color in New Orleans in the 19th century. It's the first book of poems published by African Americans in 1845. It eventually grew into more of an effort to make these songs about uh, New Orleans and the musical and artistic history of New Orleans. In, in choosing uh, the term uh, Les Sinel just harkens back to this tradition uh, that emerged within the, the society of the Creole poets, or within Les Sinel poets, and uh, as a means to preserve uh, you know, the meaning, the time, the place, uh, and the tradition the beginning of Auburn Thompson, a little bit towards uh, the recapitulation of the of the the main verses, uh, you will be able to hear some semblance that might uh, resemble uh, the coffinous or uh, sort of like an aleatoric aspect of, of nature. Uh, if you were to just go outside and hear. Or calls her. Uh, Lord Fillon uh, de Tambu. It's basically an epitaph for uh, an orphan. So when you're listening to uh, uh, Orphan of the Tombs, uh, it starts off as sort of a very stately march. Uh, but the sort of symmetric or regular metric scheme of the strings and of the, of the instrument sort of uh, gradually uh, dissolves into something that's a little bit more like this. as uh, mentioned earlier, um, just the, the quest of an artist in trying to find their their voice or find their vision, um, especially in the midst of, uh, of struggle and adversity. Carl Toujours is um, one of the many love poems in, in the collection. And I think of all of the poems, that one gave me the impression of young, young love. so much. I really appreciate your time, Ryan, and your contribution of this music for New Orleans Chamber Orchestra to perform. If everybody watching this video would like to see it too, you can help make it happen by sharing your time and a few dollar bills with us. Um, there will be directions how to do that below the video. Otherwise, thank you again, Ryan, and we look forward to sharing your music with the world. Thank you.